Uh, hey, welcome to the channel. We've got um, a net zero NIMBY here doing 20 miles per hour. Uh, and the speed limit, the lawful speed limit is 30. Um, they are breaking the law. They're doing 20. There's no need to do 20. It's not legally enforceable. It's all been done under green uh, initiative, Scottish Greens, the SNP. Uh, it's too slow. It's actually. Oh, look! Wow! A green Capri! It was worth it for that! Wow! Oh, yes! Is it a green Capri? Yes! Very happy to see that. looked like a Mark II. Um, I didn't quite see it properly because I was paying attention, trying not to run up the arse of this car, it's going too slow. Yeah, it's been raining. It's been raining! Ford Puma. It's a Puma. Ford Puma. It's not a Puma, it's a Puma. It's a cat that lives in, up in the Barnet Burn. Some weird cat. It was in the battle of Barnet Burn. The Puma cat. Yeah. Was it really? Oh, no, no, no. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, hi. So, see, didn't it do? The Stirling Council is going to build. Do you know this is a bullshit story? I don't even want to repeat it. But I've started. They're going to build a racing track on top of Robert Bruce's fucking battlefield. There's some, like, I think it's coming from Scottish nationalists. Like, we're supposed to get really angry about it. But there is things that we should get angry about when it comes to Stirling Council, but really, we got, you know. It's a, a race, a, a, like a horse, it's a, I don't know, is it April Fool or something? A race, a horse racing track. You know, what's that? Because that's where Corby Wood was, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know anything about sport. I'm not a sporting type, so I wouldn't know. Um, come on now, keep up the slack. Come on! Um, a race track on... The Battle of Bannockburn site. So basically, what they're talking about is just everywhere around about here. There's a site that. I mean, do you think the Battle of Bannockburn happened in one like little. Was it like a little, little postage stamp bit? The Bannockburns, we just went past it back there. It was just to the right of that roundabout. 
Goodbye, next one. Uh, it goes up to Windsor Milton. Or as my mother used to call it, Wins A. Milton. I think, where the hell's this Wins A. Milton? But I mean, my accent has. Uh, it's not necessarily from here, as you probably notice. <clears throat> it's a bit of touch of everything, I suppose. But I have lived in Scotland um, all my life. And uh, it's sort of changed. That accent's changed gradually. For the worse. <laughs> well, there's a bus in there with bits missing off it. Or the front. I didn't know they did that. I'd break up buses in the car park. Let's go and have a look at that. So the video I did the other day with the, the, the worker guy that was having a... I was asking me what the fuck I was doing. Got over a thousand views. Which is quite a lot. But that's for the main video. Um, yeah, I watched it back and I was trying to be... I had my friend looking at it to try and see if I was behaving like a dickhead. And it seems I wasn't really. Basically, I just kind of answered his questions with a question. Which... Like, you don't really have to tell somebody what you're doing if it's lawful, you know? So they don't really have a right to ask you what you're doing if you're behaving lawfully, you know? Uh, so you're walking up Socky Hall Street and you're filming. So what I was actually filming was... Um, wow, that's all changed in there. What I was actually filming was the... Socky Hall Street, Glasgow. It's got a pedestrianised precinct getting done, which would have been... I mean, I can't remember, but it's obviously been a road before. I mean, I, I haven't really been going into Glasgow that much, you know, recently. Well, I have been recently, aye, the last couple of years. Before that, I wasn't really going in there much. And uh, so basically that would have been a road, and it's been a pedestrianised precinct, um, which... Um, so I'm recording. The reason why I do these videos is I like to record, you know, what's going on and everything. The changes to our infrastructure. I was going to say good and bad. Most of the changes are bad. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, I don't even know if I'm in the right lane here for... Probably in the wrong lane. I think everybody goes in the wrong lane in this, in this interchange. There's nobody goes in the right lane. Because the way it's designed is wrong. So, there you go. Okay, so we're going to pull over onto this lane here. And... That was... Planet Burn Interchange. Indicate to come off. Yeah, so, um. What are you talking about? I don't know. So the battle of... Ba I'll tell you, the Bannock... Well, I'll tell you when we go over the Bannock burn. Because we're going to go over it in a minute. In fact, Home Bargains, where I'm going to, is not very far from where the Battle of Bannock burn was. Uh, so really, they shouldn't really be building the houses there on the right. You know, that was... That, that, the, the battle probably took place there as well this whole area. So I don't know what bullshit they're talking about. Could be an archaeological dig, I suppose. Me, I'm more interested in the, the here and now than the past, but because we learn from the past. So the battle is between us and the globalists. The globalists own the politicians. The politicians fuck us over. And... What? Look at that thing there on the left eye. Did you see that? I've seen it before, but I didn't. I think they must have cut some shrubs or something down because it seems to be much clearer than it has been. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to send me a snotogram on Twitter. Send me a friend request on Facebook. We'll tell you to get to that. And um, thanks again for 
for bearing with me and making the world a worse place. So we'll just pop over in the corner, reversing into my favourite location. So a one stop, one chance parking manoeuvre. There you go. How's that? Reverse right into the sleeper. Gently. Gently. Right. Thanks for watching. Bye!